everybody, I'm Bella with you, my daughter Nicole. Today we are going to be showing you how to make cake pops. What will you need is flour and sugar, cocoa paddle, salt, and baking paddle. First you're going to start with your flour, so let's pour it into the bowl. Next you have to add your sugar. Next now Nicole is going to help me pour the chocolate in. Now Nicole is going to help me pour in the salt, baking paddle, and soda. Now you're going to mix all your dry ingredients together. Mm-mm-mm. This one just looks good. I love cooking because cooking is my favorite. I went to Paris to see my cousins and I went to the bakery shop and it was so nice. It was so beautiful. Now we're going to add all wet ingredients. Now I'm going to pour my milk and oil into my dry ingredients. So we're going to add a special ingredient in coffee. Mm. So now we're going to add one egg to our wet ingredients and dry ingredients. Now the egg is cracked. Now our last ingredient is vanilla. Vanilla is like really a good taste to your dessert. Thank you for coming over to cook with me, Nicole. Oh, so you're so welcome. Now we can mix it all together. What's your favorite um dessert? Cake. It's so good and sometimes I like cupcakes. Now I'm going to bake off the mixer we have. Let's get a little dip in the giant. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Nicole's going to try some. Ooh, yummy. <laughs> How is it? Good! It's so yummy! I'm going to scream! The best part is cooking is slicking the spoon. Here we have our baby cakes cake pops maker. Don't forget to turn it on. So now you're gonna need a tablespoon and that. When it turns green, make sure to let a little kid or your mom and dad to open it up so you won't burn yourself. Be careful, it's hot. Now you're gonna scoop it up. Your cake pops have to stay in to four to five minutes. So now our cake pops are out of the cake pop maker. Maker and make sure to turn it off and make sure to let it cool down and now we are going to make a frosting now so now we have a pan and now we're going to put it we're going to turn the stove on so let's get started now you put it on medium heat we have to put our butter in first and then you add your milk and you can put it any kind of little thingy so let's get started when the butter's melting Make sure your butter is all completely melted. Now you're going to pour in your powdered sugar in. Now you're going to mix it around. So make sure to have an adult to take your pan off the heat. And next we're going to put vanilla in for a squirrel. So now you mix it around. Smells good. Now you add another cup of powdered sugar. Yep, it do. 
So, Nicole, do you like frosting? Do you like like making Christmas cookies with frosting? Oh yes, I love making the frosting and licking it and making the colors and making Christmas cookies with my mom. So now you're gonna need sticks, any kind of sticks, but make sure they're not too thin or not too big. So now you have your stick, and then you're gonna poke it in to your beautiful So now we're going to put it in the frosting. Now you have to do this over and over until your cake pops all done. Now we are all finished and me and Nicole did a really good job. So let's try one. Want a bite? Yeah. Um. Mm -mm -mm. Very good. Of you people out there, I hope you enjoy our recipe and make sure to leave a comment down below. Cake pops are so easy to make and it's delicious to eat. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye bye.